I bring you greetings from Wean staff in Bethlehem. This is Hannah Curry from East Jerusalem, a researcher, trainer, and peace activist. I hold an MA degree in Urban Development Jerusalem Studies. My work focuses on women and youth on topics related to peace, security, leadership, gender-based violence, and environmental awareness. A safe climate is a vital element of their right to a healthy environment and is absolutely essential to people's well-being. In Palestine, people suffer as a result of climate change due to rising temperatures and waterfall decrease. First, people suffer from water scarcity. Second, agriculture is negatively affected. Pollution is another environment crisis which Palestinians face as a result of Israeli disposal of solid waste in Palestinian land. Mainly women and children are the most affected by such environmental risks. As a developed country, Israel is responsible for reducing the threat of climate issues for vulnerable populations as stipulated under, under Article 7 of the Paris Agreement. Weam plays a major role in fighting and achieving justice to climate change Unfortunately, the climate change crisis is progressing faster than government or civil society organizations can handle. Israeli occupation makes the Palestinians suffer double, which makes it more difficult to mitigate such of its effects. Through our work with WEAM, we raise awareness on issues related to climate change and environmental risks through educational programs in order to motivate behavioral change among local communities and vulnerable people and areas. The main concern of such awareness activities is to produce behavioral change and show support to people. For example, WEAM tries to mitigate hazards through home economy, Victory Garden, which is WEAM initiative, recycle of water, renewable energy, tree planting, the use of solar source to generate electricity. Restrictions on the free, free movement of people and goods, the apartheid wall, land grabs, settlement expansion, and settler violence consequently, consequently increase climate change, vulnerability, and are the main challenges to reach cities, villages, and camps. We am is delighted to be in this partnership and is happy to follow your footsteps in this initiative. I recommend that the Canadian federal government puts pressure on the Israeli government to abide by the international laws and signed agreements in order to prevent climate change risks to have further implications on the environmental and public health. Also, sparing budget to encourage the work of NGOs to mitigate environmental risks would be an asset. Thank you.